put them on. Oh lad. Oh lad, it's hard to be. As long as the rain stays off, we should be alright. But no, no, look, it'll piss down in a minute. Let's get the flock out of here. Time, just after quarter past five, and we're still at it. Aim to be for where we're having our tea at around ten past six. We're getting as much out of the day as we can today. What a beautiful view. Hundred and fifteen point five miles in. And still going. God, here we go again. Beautiful view. Hundred and twenty eight miles in.
Yep, over there for Floyd View, that's Sunbanks over there. <laughs> well, I'm going to draw the video and the uh, tour to a close. Paul and I have had three days of fantastic riding. Um, weather's been a bit of a pain a couple of times today and on uh, Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah Wednesday and today Friday weather's been a bit uh, unkind to us but we've, we've, we've fought on, we've fought on and uh, everything's got waterlogged. Yeah, it, you name it, the water the precipitation, because I think we've been up in, you know, in the clouds a few times. The precipitation has has, has got into everything, and uh, but that's been a bit of a pain. But that's it. But brilliant today. We've we've done the full circumference of uh, of Butte. Uh, that was brilliant. Really enjoyed that with the little trip over uh, the five minute uh, trip on the ferry across and back. That was really good. Done a real. Uh, Backward road with Paul today. He's uh, he's got a gift at finding these narrow single track uh, roads or lanes with grass going out the middle of them, and we found a cracky one of them today. And uh, the Royal Enfields stood up to everything I've asked it to do uh, and delivered it with ease. Um, it's just a perfect bike. As I've said previously, if you're thinking of buying one do it and the test ride around you know your local area if you borrow if you borrow one from the dealers you're not gonna you're not gonna find out what it can do uh, but if you want a bit of advice from somebody who's ridden it now for three solid days on these type of roads it just delivers everything that you would expect and more so highly recommended I uh, I'm uh, very fond of this machine so um, as I say, that wraps up this first tour for this year. The next tour is in uh, three weeks on Monday, three or four weeks on Monday when we do the NC500 Plus. I say plus because there's, uh, there's a big chunk of getting up and getting back uh, that we're going to include in sort of the tour itself. So that's in a couple of, well, that's in three or four weeks' time. The first of those, there'll be videos to follow when we've done that as well. And a lot of the learning we've got from this uh, 
from this tour I'm going to apply to that one uh, in terms of get myself some boots that don't let the water in and uh, so there's a lesson I want to take to that one we're doing that on the Tracer 9 GT um, because we will be riding all the way up and all the way back not, uh, not putting bikes in the van and that tour is with uh, myself, Kev, uh, Paul, not this Paul, our other Paul and, uh, and Brian, the brother-in-law and we're doing that uh, first week in August and I'm uh, looking forward to that so this has been brilliant, I've been really looking forward to it Paul's done all the planning of where we've been using the B-Line so I've got him to thank for the roads he's found and the places he's taken us to as always he uh, he comes up trumps with uh, with working out routes he's, uh, he's got a gift for it including finding the uh, the obscure back roads he's uh, he's uh, he sniffs them out all the time so um, yeah so there's nothing much more to say now really as they head down towards the digs and to say uh, thank you for watching the uh, the videos if you stuck with it I hope you found something enjoyable in them um, I hope you found them entertaining as well uh, entertaining and informative hopefully um, yeah please please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and, uh, and subscribing very welcome um, and comments really uh, you know, if you like comments, uh, questions that you, you that might be able to answer, answer in terms of the Royal Enfield or where we've been and what we've been doing. If you haven't got any questions, I'll do my best to answer them, and it'll be from a from my experience of, of doing it. So uh, hopefully, won't be biased, but uh, I'll give you an honest uh, honest answer to any any questions you ask. Uh, uh, ask away if there's anything you want to know. Um, and I say that's. Uh, that's pretty much the uh, the sad end to this tour. We load up the, the bikes back into Paul's van in the morning after breakfast or maybe even before breakfast. I suspect before breakfast. And then we had the six and a half hours back down to uh, to the West Midlands and, uh, and normality. Uh, well, at least normality for me for, a, for three weeks or so before I go off and do something similar all over again. Uh, it's been good practice in terms of the mileage per day that we need to do as with the NC500 and the, and the trips up the trips back we've got a lot of miles to to clear each day so it's sort of a you know this is a bit of a taster for, for how many miles we need to do today we've had a pretty relaxed day and we've done what 161 so far miles we did 250 yesterday and we did 170 something the day before so those are the sort of average miles, average miles I think for the, for the NC500 we're doing about 200 miles a day, some, slight, some days slightly more and then there's days when it's less, I think the one that the least one is around 170 miles. So uh, I'm, uh, hopefully we, that shouldn't cause us too much of a problem and uh, we can get between the, uh, the stopping places and the overnight accommodations relatively unhindered but with chances to you know to stop it and take stop and take in some of the scenery and enjoy the uh, enjoy the environment so yeah good practice for that so as I say I'm gonna wrap up for now any questions drop them in the comments box and I'll do my best to answer them and uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you again soon for the uh, for the next videos which will be the uh, NC500 Plus tour in August. Take care, thanks for watching them. Bye for now. How are you doing, Nigel? How many have we done? We certainly have. We got wet again. 166. Murdered Butte. Yeah, murdered Butte. Yeah. Uh, oh, cheers, mate. Next one over the back of that. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, <laughs> fun that was. <laughs> Not for the faint hearted that one, was it? I don't like that one over there. Oh, that's what we like doing. Oh. First day when we went and we said to you we went down 20 miles down this, this lot, the yeah. back up, like that. But the road's the worst in places, but you've got to have, oh. yeah, you've, you've got to be mindful and you've got to really think about it because you've got to be yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.